Nate Carlisle, who has spoke with Halverson over the years. He joins us live in studio to talk about him. And good morning, Nate. He meant so much to Germany and here in Utah. Yeah, um, he was uh, a hero in both places. In, in Germany, he's regarded, to use kind of a, a Utah comparison here, he's uh, something like the gull that ate the Mormon crickets uh, and a mix of the Easter Bunny. He was helping feed the people of Germany and also dropping these candies to, to kids that didn't otherwise have anything to eat. And so he means, he's a symbol of freedom in both countries, uh, but then also he was a Cold War hero as well. This was, remember, the early days of the Cold War and it was a big public relationship win for the United States to be dropping these confections to kids in Germany. Now, Nate, we know he spent a lot of time here in Utah. Of course, we've interviewed him on the show a few times. Such a nice, genuinely humble, good man. But where did he grow up? He grew up mostly in Utah, mostly around the town of Garland up in Box Elder County. He was uh, born in Salt Lake City. Uh, his father uh, and, well, both his parents really managed farms and ranches in Utah and Idaho. Uh, so he was a beet farmer. He uh, raised cattle. And uh, in his autobiography, he talked about how he'd be hoeing fields in northern Utah on the flight path between Salt Lake City and Malad, Idaho. And he would look up and see these planes of the 1930s flying overhead. And that's how he decided he wanted to become a pilot. And Nate, what are some of the ways Halverson has been remembered over the decades? Well, he stayed in the Air Force long after the Berlin airlift. He rose to the rank of colonel and actually wound up commanding uh, a U.S. Air Force base in Germany. And uh, a school on that base wound up being named for him. His son joined the Air Force, too, and some of Halverson's own grandchildren attended that school. You know, no pressure there, kids. <laughs> um, and then, of course, there's been all kinds of commemorations by the German government. Uh, the Air Force is honored in two. They, they actually named uh, a cargo plane loading lift for Halverson, which is, is actually one of the biggest honors the military can ever give you to name something after you. Uh, and then, of course, there's been reenactments of all kinds over the years here in Utah, elsewhere. There's actually a German immigrant in North Carolina who uh, leads a reenactment over the Outer Banks of North Carolina every year, dropping kids candy uh, from the air. And so uh, I know there's been all kinds of reactions from politicians this morning as well, but he is remembered across two continents. Yeah, such a seriously a humble, but so capable. He was even flying into his later years. I think we talked to him probably, I don't know, five, six, seven years ago, and he was still flying. Yeah, if you remember the 2012 movie Meet the Mormons, he, he's flying an airplane of that. He was in his mid-90s at the time. And um, he, remember, he never dropped a bomb or fired a weapon in combat. Um, he was a humanitarian hero from the military. So that made him a, a very different character than the other kind of military heroes we, we think of. He didn't charge a hill or you know, lead a great air raid or, or something like that. His exploits were humanitarian. 